Hi there, this is Francis from A Plus Tutoring. In this session, I'm going to talk about the basic matrices. So what is matrix? Now matrix should be written with a square bracket and with a capital letter. So this is matrix A. Now P times Q is the size of the matrix. P is the number of row and Q is the number of column. The row always come first, don't mix it up. Okay, example one, matrix A, two by three, that means there is two rows and three columns. Example two, matrix C is a three by three, so three row and three column. Now each element in it, let's say the number nine, we call this element or we call this entry. Now, each of them has a position. Number nine has a position of one, three, meaning one means the first row, three means the third column. So what is row matrix? Row matrix, in this example, we have a matrix A, one by three. One means there's only one row. So this is called the row matrix, but there's three column. No matter how many column you have, you have only one row. We call this row matrix, or we can call this row factor. So what is column matrix? Column matrix in this example, we can see is matrix A, three by one. We have only one column we have three row. So no matter how many row you have, you have only one column. We also call this column vector. So what is a square matrix? A square matrix with the number of column equal to the number of row. In example one, we have matrix A, N by N. So we have Nth column and Nth row. Example two, we have a three by three matrix. It's a square matrix because it's three by three. Three row with three column. So what is a lower triangular matrix? A lower triangular matrix, the first criteria is to be a square matrix. In this example, four by four lower triangular matrix, we see that the main diagonal, this two, four, seven, eight, we call this main diagonal. On top of this main diagonal, it must be all zero. Okay, so we can see that all the green numbers should be all zero. So we call this matrix as lower triangular matrix. So what is a upper triangular matrix? The first criteria, again, it must be a square matrix. In this example of four by four upper triangular matrix, we see that the main diagonal at the bottom of it has to be all zero. So this matrix, we call this as upper triangular matrix. So what is a diagonal matrix? Again, it must be a square matrix. In this example, four by four diagonal matrix, except the main diagonal, everything has to be zero. As we can see with the, the green numbers, all zero. So this is what we call a diagonal matrix. So what is an identity matrix? An identity matrix must be a square matrix. And this matrix is acting like a one in numerical value. Any matrix multiplied with the identity matrix will stay the same matrix. Now the example of identity matrix in this case is a four by four. So the main diagonal must be all one and the rest must be all zero. So this is what we call an identity matrix. So what is a zero matrix? A zero matrix is acting like a zero in numerical value. 
any matrix multiplied with the zero matrix will be a zero matrix. Now, it doesn't have to be a square matrix. In this example, it's P by Q. So you have P number of row and Q number of column. Again, another example, a matrix C, three by two, so three row, two column. As long as all the elements inside the matrix are all zero, this is a zero matrix. So what is an augmented matrix and what is a coefficient matrix? Now a matrix is basically solving equation. In this example, we have three equation and three unknown. So three variables. Now the coefficient of each variables, one, one, two, is basically my first row. And nine is the constant value I write on the side with a bar. Second row, two, four, minus three. So second row is two, four, minus three, and the constant value one. Last row, three, six, minus five, and zero. Now this is what we call an augmented matrix. Now a coefficient matrix is basically without all the constant value. So that's the coefficient matrix. For more information, please visit my website, goforaplus.com.